everybody. Sorry about that. Let's hope this works here. If you can let us know the video is working in the chat below, that would be great. Make sure that you can see us and you can hear us. Yep. We're good. All right. All right, everybody. So sorry about the technical delay there. Uh, so today, once again, my name is Jeff Bird. I'm from Redman Distributing, uh, one of the fine distributors that TA Appliances has worked with. Uh, and today we're going to go over one of our product lines and one of my favorite product lines, the Capital Range. Okay. Uh, so give you a little back, uh, background about Capital. Capital was founded in 2001 uh, in California. Uh, they're still owned and operated uh, out of the California base now. So the range is actually built in Santa Fe, Santa Fe Springs, California. So Amer North American made product, uh, which is really important in today's uh, sorry in today's uh, market, um, and as well as all the components are sourced uh, through the North North American base as well. So to give you uh, an idea about what Capital is and what they strive, what they pride themselves on, is they wanted to bring the professional industrial kitchen uh, stove that's used by any type, kind of top chefs or anything like that that you see at a restaurant and they wanted to make that so that it could be used at home so this is the true professional uh, range for the at-home chef okay so this range is really built for people who love to cook okay so there is four different series of the capital product line okay there's the precision series uh, which is going to be all of their sealed burner systems okay and they're off offered in uh, range tops as well as manual clean and self-clean oven capabilities okay then there's going to be the culinarian series which is going to be our open burner series okay same thing again all gas uh, manual clean and self-clean options and then as well there's going to be the connoisseurian series which is their dual fuel system okay and that's going to be available in the sealed burner or the open burner uh, in terms of your range top capabilities there and then finally, there's going to be Maestro series, which is um, electric wall ovens, and then as well as a drop-in 36-inch cooktop, okay? So first, what I'm going to talk to you about, as I said before, is the Culinarian series. Uh, this is the range that we have here on our, on our showroom floor. This is a C, CSGR 304, okay? So what that means is a 30-inch self-cleaning uh, oven, as well as we have the open burners on the top here, okay? Now... Open burners are what are used in a professional kitchen, okay? And the whole point of an open burner is that you're going to get really good flame retention and coverage over all the pans that you're uh, cooking with. Now, these burners are incredibly powerful. We are looking at 25,000 BTUs per burner, okay? All right, and the true cap where the sh unit really shows its capabilities, it will go from 25K all the way down to a true simmer at about 140 degrees, okay? So... There's a lot of uh, usability within within these open burner systems. Okay, so once again, that's two open burners right now, front and back, and the front left here. Okay, that's seventy five thousand BTUs of cooking power. That is a lot, a lot of heat that we can cook with here. So it's really going to allow you to be the most capable at home chef you can be. Furthermore, in the back here, in the back left, we have a nine thousand BTU. Uh, simmer burner okay so this burner will actually turn down sorry this, this burner will actually turn down all the way to 115 degrees fahrenheit okay so that's a true true simmer all right oh, we have a question coming in are all burners boil and simmer oh yes all all bu burners have the capability to do the boil and the simmer okay mm -hmm. um you're gonna get more power out of your three main burners of the 25,000 btus and then your back burner is normally used for more simmering. As I said, it's called the simmer burner. It's 8,000 BTUs. You could boil with it for sure. You're going to be wanting to use the main burners for that though. Okay. <clears throat> for, furthermore, people get concerned with open burner systems about, well, they should be concerned about any gas burner system, but especially with open burners that if they get a, something coming over the top, put, let's say it's putting out the flame, that it's just going to release gas into the home. Well, that's not the case with the system. There's an auto reignition feature so I'll just blow up the burner right now okay and there we go all right <clears throat> so now we've got the auto reignition system okay in terms of uh, 
question here. No, it is not a down drip, drown draft off the back. That is actually used for the self-clean oven capability. We have a, a vent hood, ventilation hood fan above, above this unit right now, okay? So what I'm gonna show you as well is I've got a ke kettle in here with some water. I'm gonna explain the oven cavity to you guys, but in the meantime, I'm gonna have this going on high, and we're just gonna see how quickly that takes the actual, actually to go off, okay? Now, inside of this oven, we've got a pretty, pretty spectacular oven, all right? For this presentation today, um, I actually did a prime rib on the rotisserie motor, okay? So it's actually done, so we're done rotisserie for the day. But this has been rotisserizing since 9 a.m. this morning, okay? What you're getting out of this oven cavity is you're getting 30,000 BTU bake oven, all right? And then as well, it's gonna be a little harder to see, but in the top here, we have a very, very cool broiler system, all right? And what that broiler is, is it's 18,000 BTUs in an infrared broiler, but it's got ceramic glass covering it, okay? And the purpose of that ceramic glass is that it's gonna help radiate the heat and spread it evenly to whatever you're cooking below, okay? So what I did with this rose today is I put it, put it on the rotisserie, turned it on broil for about 30 minutes, 30 to 40 minutes, got a nice char on the outside, turned it down to 200, and just let it cook for the rest of the morning. So we're really looking forward to getting into this, this lunch here at the office afterwards, okay? <clears throat> also, as you can see here with these grates, what you have is a true cast iron grate, okay? So you can scratch these units up, and then just simply take some water, wipe it away, and it's gonna look as good as new, all right? As well, they're continuous grates, all right? Oh, tea's ready. So as you can see, that was maybe a minute, two minutes tops, and now we've got a fully, uh, fully boiling kettle of hot water, okay? So it's really a lot of power they're getting out of the stove. Now, the one thing I hear from questions, or from customers is asking is, isn't it not hard to clean an open burner system? In the past, it's true, it was, but in this unit here, it's not. So come with me and I'm gonna show you over here. <clears throat> so this is our non-live unit, because clearly I was just showing all those burners, I don't wanna be touching those, okay? But people's number one concern, as I said before, not number one concern, but a big concern for them is the cleanability of an open burner system, okay? Well, it is easier to clean this open burner system, I find personally, than it is clean any sealed burner system. Okay, and what I mean by that is typically when people think of cleaning a stove, they have to bring the sink to the stove, okay? Well, this capital open burner system, you don't have to do that. You're actually going to bring the stove to the sink, all right? So all I have to do here is remove the uh, incredibly heavy cast iron grates. All right, sorry about that there. Cast iron grates. And what you'll see here is that we've got drip trays all around our burner systems, okay? So that means that anything's gonna spill off is gonna get caught inside of here. Now, there is gonna have to be a little bit of open area. So you're concerned as well, what happens if it gets underneath that? Well, there's secondary cleaning underneath here, okay? Just like you would see in the barbecue system, we've got drip trays. So simply come out, they can go in the dishwasher, they're all dishwasher safe. All right, and it's the same thing here with these top pans. You simply remove the rails at the sides. And take your unit out for cleaning. Very, very easy to clean. As I said, again, dishwasher safe. And as well as you can see in here, Everything is very tidy and neat, okay? With some other traditional open burner systems, there'd be a rat's nest of wire in here. Everything is nice, <clears throat> nice and tucked away and form formally presented, okay? So that's gonna be the open burner system, okay? As I said before, it comes in the self-clean. That oven that we showed you previously is a self-clean oven. I'm gonna show you the manual clean oven now, but we're gonna do it in the precision series. We have a question from John. What are the color options? What are the color options? We actually have 10 different color options. I'll show you right here, just on a little quick chart, easier for me to show you guys. We've got yellow, we've got three different types of red. We've got a pale green, a signal blue, two different blues, sorry a black, a white, and then a beige, okay? As well, we can paint any of these ranges 
in any color in the RAL color book. So if you had a specific color, let's say a hot pink for some reason, hot pink's cool color, we can paint this, we can paint this range in that color. Okay, now keep in mind, when you do get a colored range from, from Capital, it's not the range top as well that's colored, it's only gonna be the door and the kick plate. Okay? So, actually one more thing in terms of the, uh, the open burner system I wanna show you guys. There is a really cool accessory. It's called the wok ring, okay? And so this is for anybody who likes to really do wok cooking. You simply put this ring on here, put your wok in, and now you've got a true wok burner at your house, okay? So it's a ver it adds to the versatility of the product, all right? Now, the sealed burner systems, okay? The sealed burner systems are very, very nice, okay? What you're getting out of here is, as I said before, they wanna have give you that commercial range feeling, that true power, okay? So what you have out of each one of our sealed burners is 19,000 BTUs, okay? Once again, these all turn down to a true simmer, plus putting out heat about 140 degrees Fahrenheit. All right? So it adds, once again, to the versatility of these units. Now, come down to the oven cavity. This is our manual clean oven cavity, okay? So what you're going to have here is you're going to have an infrared broiler, okay? Now, in the manual clean, it's not glass covered like it is in the self-clean. However, you've got a very, very large oven cavity. You're looking at about five cubic feet of usable space here, okay? So they're making the most out of this usable space of this oven as possible, okay? They are not glide out shelves on this unit. They're gonna be this traditional shelving style, okay? Whereas in the self-clean, they have actually wheels, so they roll in and out really nicely. Now, this is a commercial baking sheet, okay? This is a very, very large baking sheet. Most ovens can't fit these, okay? But with the capital, we can fit in the 36 because generally that's going to be the size where other where other competitors can fit commercial baking sheets. However, in our manual clean option, you can fit a full size commercial baking sheet in a 30 inch wide range. Okay, nobody else is doing that in the market. It's a thing exclusive to Capital themselves. All right. Furthermore. When you get the Precision Series, you can get this walk ring accessory, okay? Essentially just sits on top of your grates, so you can hold your walk in place, all right? What I do like about the grates here on the, uh, on the Precision Series is they're nice even grates, so everything slides nice and easily in timers of that. Now, the range top, once again, capital is all about versatility, okay? So we offer an 18,000 BTU gas burner or barbecue. Okay, that's just gonna take a minute here to light up. And then we also have our electrostatic thermal griddle. Okay. Once again, okay. Now, in the 36 inch and the 30 inch, these can only come in a 12 inch option. However, if you get into the 48 inch ride ranges and the 60 inch ranges, you can then do a 12 inch or a 24 inch barbecue grill or griddle, or you could do the both. So you could have the grill on one part and then the grill right beside, okay? Also, these steel covers come with the unit. There's not enough charge for any of these products. This actually comes with the unit when you purchase it. See here, our barbecue burner is just getting ready to light, and there we go. Now you can grill inside, especially in the winter months up here in Canada, it gets a little cold. 